Good morning. Our message affirmation today is the way I feel is up to me. It's such a wonderful, wonderful, important thing to grasp and keep with us at all times. And I'm sure that we've all had a circumstance or situation, and uh, I can raise my hand heartily where uh, the day has been beautiful. We've started out on a wonderful path, and we run into, you know, Debbie Downer or Negative Nancy. No uh, offense if your name is Nancy or Debbie. But, uh, and you know, our whole outlook for the day changes, and we let these people affect us because somebody has said something unkind or something uh, negative or they've discounted some wonderful great idea or plan that we've had. And unfortunately, as human beings, because we talk about that so much, we're spiritual beings, but we're having this human experience. And in that human part of our life, we allow these outside things to affect us. And that's why it's so important to understand, and this is a great affirmation to take with you, the way I feel is up to me. And it's important to understand this and know that as we talk about all the time, it all begins up here. Everything, everything in our world around us begins in our mind and our thoughts create that. And our thoughts are the the, the process in which we interpret and take in everything around us as well. So it's important to understand that what an incredible difference a thought makes, and what an incredible difference a positive thought makes when we're in that positive thought current place as opposed to a negative thought current place. We know that we're spiraling upward rather than downward so that when we do find ourselves in a situation or a, a circumstance where somebody is uh, having a bad day and they're snappy with us, that we don't in turn have a bad day and start snapping at other people. And I know I have to uh, confess and admit that I've done that myself a lot. And uh, it takes a while sometimes to stand back and know and understand this concept that I am in charge of how I feel. The way I feel is up to me because if I let so-and-so ruin and spoil my day or, or say something and take it to heart and then I turn around and snap at people, I know that later in the day I feel bad and I feel guilty because I snapped at that person and uh, made them feel bad and I've just perpetuated this horrible cycle when all along I know as a New Thought student that the way I feel is up to me in every circumstance, in every situation. So we have to be very, very mindful to hold on to this so that when you do, especially, you know, tomorrow's Monday and uh, for some reason, historically, Monday has such a bad reputation, like Monday, oh God, Monday. Uh, and we go and we start our day, uh, you know, whatever circumstance or situation we're doing and somebody says something to us and it seems to let our whole week go uh, downward, spiral downward instead of spiral upward. And we have to uh, hold in mind and know that the way I feel is up to me. It's up to me, regardless of, of what people say to you. And as I was preparing to talk about this message, I was thinking of all the different people in lives and the different things we had that, you know, if these people had let the, the, the negative Nancys or the Debbie Downers affect them, we don't know where we'd be. Think of uh, like Alexander Graham Bell. So many people were against the uh, the telephone. They thought it was just a silly toy. And of course, now, you know, we can't imagine life without being able to pick up this little instrument and talk to people clear on the other side of the world or even just across town. Uh, you know, with the automobile, I know, uh, you know, Henry Ford wasn't the inventor, but he certainly made that a more affordable process when he created this whole uh, assembly line thing. Uh, and think today, even uh, computers, our cellular phones, the internet, uh, and not to mention all the advances in medicine. So as we think about all these things, how many of things would have stopped dead in their tracks if these people hadn't held on to their, to their good spirit, to their idea, and known that no matter what anybody said, the way I feel is up to me. The way I feel, I'm going to create this great thing and it's going to change the world because people can talk to each other anywhere. The way I feel, I'm going to make the automobile and I'm going to make it affordable so it can become part of everyone's life. And, uh, or I guess back then, the horseless carriage. I'm going to make the horseless carriage and everybody's life is going to change and be better. So we know historically we can look and see and there's so many wonderful people. And we know certainly that we see the way shower and we read in the scriptures about Christ the way shower and how he didn't let people affect him. And he certainly, certainly had a lot of adversity. And we know we've talked here about being centered and how Christ was always centered because he always knew the way that he felt was completely up to him, regardless of what people were saying or doing or how he was being persecuted. He always knew that he would be centered and the way that he felt was completely up to him. And so we know as New Thought, New Thought students, we strive to follow the way shore. We see Christ as the example for the way to live, the way 
the way to live these lives of great happiness and great health and great prosperity in everything, in every circumstance, in every situation. So as you're going through the week, let yourself know and, and hold tightly to this affirmation that the way I feel is up to me. The way I feel is up to me. And listen not to others, but to the way shower, because we know that Christ said to us, with God, all things are possible. So if you are feeling good and your plan is to go out tomorrow and buy that set of winning lottery numbers, don't listen to the naysayers who say that it's a one in you know, 300 million chance. Go out there positive because as we know, Christ said to us, all these things that I do, and we know he performed all these miracles, all these things I do, you're going to do them and you're going to do more because we know that with God, all things are possible. So be filled with the joy of living and remember that the way I feel is up to me. The way I feel is up to me. And the goal, our goal for this week, take this with you, is that decide to feel great and hold that thought no matter what anyone says or does to you this week. So tomorrow or the next day, hold this every day in every way because it's so important because if we allow ourselves and our emotions and the way we feel to be disrupted and, uh, you know, unsettled by the things that other people say or, you know, the, the, the way other people interact with us, then we aren't living this Christ-like example because we know that we're meant to follow the way showers ways and his teachings and lived lives of great happiness and great health and great prosperity in all things. And the good news is that the way you feel is up to you and up to you alone. It's up to you alone. We need not take the words of others to heart, but need to claim the words and teachings of the way shower, which are, with God, all things are possible. So know as you start the day tomorrow, with God, all things are possible. And we have this direct access to God through our prayer and through our meditation and through the use of our affirmations where we proclaim things such as, the way I feel is up to me. And that's a very important thing. So take that with you this week as you start. And I'd like to invite you to join me in prayer. Eternal and loving God, we thank you for giving us the power and for giving us the complete power over our emotions and our feelings and the way that we interact with the world. We thank you, God, for showing us that through you, all things indeed are possible. And we thank you for letting this be our reality and letting us live in that reality. We thank you in the name of faith, hope, and love. Amen.